What's up everybody? What the fuck is up? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good in the motherfucking neighborhood. I hope, um, you know, this motherfucking bullshit that's been going on is not too much for that ass. I know it's been like, kind of crazy for me because like people are scared and shit. But honestly, I'm not fucking scared. Porque si me muero, with that, we're gonna die anyways. What are we supposed to do? The only thing that we could do is keep that asshole clean, keep them hands clean. You know, don't go to places with like a lot of people. My mom told me that they canceled church. Um, Mario told me that they canceled, um, I guess the bars and the cantinas, people can't go. So all you little putos out there that go to the bar to get you some bitches, um, too bad for that ass because I don't know, you can't go be a hoe, I guess. But anyways, today, I'm gonna make my little video, but first I wanna give my little shout outs. You guys know, you know the drill. So, um, shout out to Wesley Hawk. His birthday was this past Friday the 13th. Your wife, Monica, loves you. Um, she loves your chorizo. She wants more chorizo, no, just kidding. She said your chorizo is perfect and that, happy birthday, happy belated birthday. Also, Shout out to Ella, a.k.a. Mauricio Luenga, Luengas, and his hubby Castro. So those, they're Mario's actually friends. I remember that his last name had an S in the, in the end, but I told Mario to write it down for me. But Mario has some chicken shit, chicken feet writing, and he's really ba bad with last names. But I'm pretty sure that he has an S on his last name. But anyways, um... Mario used to work with him and they're friends and they're just, they're, they like say stuff to each other. You know how when men, they joke around like gay jokes. I feel that real men could fuck around like that because a lot of people, you say some gay shit, they're like fucking get all crazy. Don't be fucking do, playing that gay shit with me. Da -da -da -da, because they think they're all machos and shit like, oh, I don't ever want to be called gay. But I feel like if you're secure with your sexuality, and you don't give a fuck because you like bitches, you like pussy, and that's what you know. You don't, if somebody says some gay humor shit, you don't have to get offended. But anyways, that's just what I think. Bitch. Today I'm going to do my, oh, I've been craving this bitch. Um, tacos de birria. So I have a video where I make birria, but I'm craving tacos de birria with consomme on the side. On the side. And I feel like this is a good recipe because I know it has meat and it has chiles and guti woo woo. But it lasts like three, four, five, even a week if you have it cold and you could freeze it and then unfreeze it. I don't know, I don't really, really know. Um, all I know is I'm gonna sharpen this knife. Somebody asked me to, um, where I got this, but actually my sister gave me this knife. Everything you motherfuckers give me, I cherish because I'm not like that type of bitch that's like, oh, um, I give a fuck about the price or give a fuck about anything. I'm the type of bitch that if I, you know, you give it with the motherfucking, with your heart, I cherish that hoe. Like, look at my ring, bitch. That's Mario's ring. He gave it to me third, 14, no, 13 years ago. And I never take it off. I only take it off sometimes. But that's my bitch right there in my heart. My, my, como se dice? Luck charm. I love this motherfucker right here. Okay, motherfuckers. So, for this recipe, you're going to need some Dios Mio. It's called... What is it called? Trozo de diez mio de res. Trozo de diez mio de res. Or it's called boneless beef chuck roast. But you could also use the bone in one. I couldn't find the one with the bone. So I'm using four, five pounds. I already have some meat over there. And let me show you motherfuckers the ingredientes for that ass. So of course, my little horse, you guys know that we are going to use chiles guajillos. I already cleaned that ass for you. Um... Chile ancho, right here. I love these because these give it like a texture, like a thicker texture. I don't know. I love those motherfuckers right there. We're going to use some garlic cloves, laurel leaves, or bay leaves, or whatever. I always say it wrong. Some black peppercorns, some chocolate de abuelita. We're only going to use half. Three tomatoes, roma, oregano, cilantro, bolita. Ah, this is new. I never used this before. But I saw some guy on YouTube, and he was kind of fat and fluffy, you know what I'm saying? And I feel people that are fat and like to cook, they know what the fuck is up. So I don't know. I don't really, really know. 
We're also gonna use some ground cumin. What is this, bitch? Anjoncolin. Anjoncolin, isn't that a funny word? Sesame seeds. Some remix right here. We have some chicken bouillon flavor and cloves. Oh, this one's very, very importante. Some cinnamon, the fresh one. So yeah. I know it looks a little intimidating, like, that's a lot of shit, bitch. Like, what the fuck? But trust me, it's easy peasy mac and motherfucking cheesy, ho. You know what I'm saying? So Mandy always comes for me to sharpen her pencil. She's like, mommy, can you sharpen your, my pencil? And there's never, ever, ever a sharpener in this house, huh? Never. Show your face. You're like in the corner. Mira que chulada. <laughs> so this is how the Mexicans do it. Yes, I already washed this. I know I used it for that, but I'm going to show you motherfuckers. And Mandy needs to learn, too. I know how to do it. Um, um, okay. Ah, I see, mamona. Ya sabes hacer todo. So you get this bitch right here like this. It's because you do it too close. You're supposed to do it from the, like, from the corner like this. And then you press it down. No mames, ese está duro. The color pencil is different. Oh. But there you go, see? And then, um, it looks like you could tell that a Mexican did it. Because it mira <laughs> like construction. I remember when I was little, I used to always stay. I always needed a pencil. And my uncle Mario, he used to work in construction. And he had like, these big ass pencils, like they're flat kind of. Oh, see, they go give it to me. Yeah, your teeth. They're like this, like squished. Uh huh, and they're supposed to be like to mark up shit for construction. And I would always use that shit for my homework. But shit, you gotta do what you gotta do, Scooby Doo. You know? And it worked, so who cares? But yeah, we, we need sharpeners in this house though. But every time I buy you guys one, it's a pierde. I don't know what happens to it. I didn't do nothing. Ligas and this. Mira. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Perfection, bitch. Here you go. Gracias. De nada. So now I'm going to wash the meat. You know you got to wash that ass. I don't have to cut it, but I think some pieces I am going to cut. Because you know what I'm saying? Is that they're going to be too big. And this meat, since it's like thick and shit, it takes time for it to cook. So if you want to, um, if you don't care about the time, leave it in big ass pieces. But like, if you're like me and you're like, I want to eat, bitch, just um, cut them up in smaller pieces. You know what I mean, jelly bean? So I just added some water up in that hole. And we're going to add some vinegar. It doesn't matter, you could add um, white vinegar apple vinegar whatever the fuck you have it's just so the blood comes out we're just gonna leave it there for like 20 minutes and it also helps it to get like soft or whatever so when you eat it it's like bomb skis skis motherfuckers um also some people use the one with the bone like i said you could use the one with the bone it has flavor but you know what i'm saying sometimes you gotta work with what you got and that's what i'm doing today bitch okay bitch so before we toast everything like the chiles or whatever and the cebolla and everything make sure to take out the seeds porque you know what the seeds are bad for you y también if we're gonna use a colander sometimes even if you use that it's still some seeds go through so just clean that shit porque you know it's not good for you and then these um como se llaman anchos chiles anchos the skin is differently differently different so just work with it like i don't know it feels like a frog and it has a bunch of fucking seeds you know and then i have to sweep the sweep now because of this shit dirty ass fucking hoe no you're not a hoe you're beautiful you're beautiful ass puta tell me shit to me no you're beautiful you're gonna make some amazing food okay wiggle that hoe and there you go i just make sure to take him off because sometimes they get stuck so yes okay motherfuckers so i know people do it differently they add one thing and they, they add another thing some people add beer or whatever but i'm just gonna add a little bit of oil and i'm gonna put everything in there because i feel like that's the easiest way so you don't feel intimidated like oh i have to do this and i have to do that and da -da 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 -da. it's all going to the same motherfucking place anyways so who gives a fuck we're gonna add some of these cilantro de coriander Bitch, I thought it was something else. This is coriander. Sounds familiar. We're gonna add the onion, the canela, the oregano. Every time you use oregano, go like that. So it come out good. The cloves. 
the tomato. Where's my motherfucking knife? That knife gets lost more than me. And I'm always fucking lost. We're gonna add the tomato up in that bitch. What else? What else? What else? All the chocolate. The garlic cloves. The laurel leaves. Bitch, this shit is gonna smell so fucking good. The black peppercorn. What else? Anjoncolin. Like that much. The cumin. The cumin powder. That's very important. That much. And then the flavor one. The flavor one. The chicken flavor one. We're gonna go like this. I'm telling you. You don't need to do it separate. Just throw all of that bitch in there. And there you go. Now we're gonna get the thong. And we're gonna mix that bitch. Right, so just make sure you don't burn that burn that hoe. It smells so fucking good, bro. Your your vato's gonna be like, damn bitch, your motherfucking shit up in that hoe. Cause everybody always acts like baby so hard. I used to think that too. But it's not bitch. I don't know why. But the chocolate abuelita and the chiles, they go perfectly together. Like, they should make a perfume of this bitch. It smells so fucking bomb. For real, for real. And then the colors. Bitch. Bitch, bitch. Nothing sure. Like this. Oh, my God. I'm cooking it for, like, 10 minutes. I'm going to add some water. So here we go, yo. Wow. Fucking magic, bitch. Fucking science. Just a more. Just a little bit more. Like that much. And we're gonna put it in medium. Let it cook like 10 more minutes. Make sure most of the damn chilies are in there. Just so they can start getting loosey. Like that pussy, bitch. You know what I mean, jelly bean. Bitch, I got some elotes too. Bitch, so you guys know that on Friday, everybody was losing their shit, like taking all the motherfucking food or whatever. So, um, yes, today, I went to El Super, the one in Panorama, and they had everything, everything. They even had um these corn, corn on the cob? Or was it corn? Just corn. They had them three for 99 cents, bitch. And they also had... um. Nopales, I know they're pre-packed or whatever, but bitch, hopefully it lasts longer so I can food. Three for five dollars. But I was telling the the kids and Mario, while you guys wait for the birria, um, I'll make you some corn. Like you know how they sell it, like the lote guy, just with mayonnaise and cheese and some fucking chilito. You know what I'm saying? You know how I like my damn corn i like them when they're like burnt you know outside like in the grill that's how i like them my mom my uncles always used to make them like that i used to love that shit my hair's all retarded but bitch i need to put my hair up because my hair it's like it falls or whatever and you guys don't <laughs> mario imagine him he's like eating big ass pelote com coming out of his mouth that's not sexy mm -mm, not at all so we don't want that. Mandy thinks she's going bald because her hair falls out sometimes. But I feel like people that have a lot of hair, well me, my hair falls and then it comes back and then it falls. Mm, you know, I estoy toda greñuda. Okay, I'm going to put this to boil. Is it bad? But I like to taste the corn when it's like not cooked. I'm going to get chorro. No. I feel like people used to do this because they taste sweet. Don't they do it on salads or some shit? Mmm. Mm-mm. So this bitch right here is ready. You know what I'm saying? I already got my um elotes over there. So yeah, we're just gonna put it in we are gonna put it in the blender, bitch. So I put everything in there, including the water. And I also noticed that the chocolate abuelita got stuck in the in the cacerola. So make sure you get all of that, bitch. All of that. And what the fuck do I always... I always have something in my fucking hair. Sorry, my hair is like a fucking nest. Remember that, Sophia? Yeah. I was going to call her Mandy. She was going to be like, oh my God, don't call me Mandy. She was like, 
that bitch on for like five minutes. You gotta blend that bitch good. Okay, motherfuckers. So, this is the meat that we had in vinegar. Now we're gonna take that bitch out. <clears throat> See? How like bloody and shit. We don't want that. We want our meat to be clean like that ass. You know what I'm saying? It's the, no, but for real. It's important. Because sometimes you go eat somewhere, like a place, and you could taste like the blood on the food. Like one time we ate a menudo. I remember what spot it was. It was fucking nasty. That shuki, I think that's what they call it. Because they don't clean it correctly. Like imagine they don't know how to clean their meat. Imagine their asshole. Todos que Dios nos ahí cagado. So we just want that bloody stuff to get out. Now we're gonna add a little remix to the remix mix, meaning our um our little sauce or whatever that we have in the blender. Here we go, yo, to the yo, to the yo, yo. So bitch, now that everything's mixed, we're just adding everything on the meat. No, we're not adding salt because it doesn't need it. All the flavors up in this hole in the remix. I mean. It already has that, este, ¿cómo se llama? The chicken flavor thingy. That has a lot of salt. So I think it's good. Look at that, bitch. What a beautiful ass color. Also, I didn't use the colander para colarlo because I blended it for a long time. But if you feel like yours has chunky thingies, then I think you should use this, bitch. You should use this whole leg like, with the thingy. But since mine is nice and smooth, we're just gonna leave it like that. Now I'm gonna turn it on, cover this bitch, and let the magic happen. Because this is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna cover this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. I'm not gonna cover it like this is supposed to be one of those steam shits or whatever, but I'm just gonna put it like that. And it takes like an hour, maybe hour and a half, two hours. Sofia, la tortilla is getting the cheese ready for the corn. Este, Sofia, what? why are your eyebrows pink? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you never know, cabrona. I love my nails. You love your nails? Yeah. ¿Y si te lavaste bien las manos? Yes. No te picas el culo. No te picas el culo. What does that mean? Don't touch your ass or don't touch your... What? So while we wait, Sophia wanted to show you guys her nails. Yes. So, um, she asked her papi if he could take her to the swap meet meet where we meet 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 to get her nails done, and she did. And she did her eyebrows pink. But you know what I'm saying? It's part of the Sophia swag. So Sophia, I'm gonna show you something very yes. important. Something about cooking is that you always have to have your sink clean. Does this sink look clean? No. Mm -mm. That's nasty. Because you're putting your food, and you know when you're um, you're using your cacerolas or whatever in a dirty sink, it's just nasty because it's your, it's like where the fuck you, you're doing your magic, you're doing your work. So, comment, bitch, for that ass. Some of these motherfuckers need it in their asshole. That's what the fuck they need <laughs> for that um, for that corona. So we sprinkle it. We don't need that much. And then we're gonna get this right here, the little remix. And then you just, and you do, you do this before and after you cook. When you're, when you're cooking with meat, with chicken, because a good clean sink is, it's it's a beautiful thing. That's what I always look when you, whenever I go to somebody's house, I always look at their sink. I mean, I'm not judging them. Maybe their mama didn't teach them. But bitch, if your mom didn't teach you, Bird is here, motherfuckers. Bird is here to teach you and that ass. Anyway, I'm not into it. I forget what the stuff is in my mm. But my mom is teaching me. Yes, I am teaching you. And then you get the corner right here. I would like to do this part too. Because you know what I'm saying? It just looks better. How are you going to put the water there? On the, on the sides? Mm -hmm. Go like this. Go like that. Or you can get a cup. And then you just go like this. And put your hand so it doesn't spread. And that's it. And then we're gonna get the drop one. 
Because we might have a small kitchen. It's a clean kitchen. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't look like a little boy today. These jeans, they look more like they're fashion nova for that ass. I mean, I look like a crackhead for the pelo and the shirt. You know what? I like this shirt. It's mine. It is yours? Oh, yes. Because we got three for 10 bucks, no? Yes. We went to Vegas. We always sharing each other's clothes. You're wearing my shirt. Show my shirt. <clears throat> we wear each other's clothes. We don't give a fuck. I know some. there's some bench people that say, oh, don't be sharing clothes. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop. Um, your mom's clothes is your mom's clothes or your daughter's clothes. But if it works for us, who the fuck cares? It's our motherfucking thing. So the lot is already and Sofia wants to be the first one. Yay. You know what? You deserve it because you've been here helping me. You know what I'm saying? So for this bitch, we're going to use the cheese that Sofia did. I love it like this. I know you're, you've been excited since we started this motherfucker. Yes. And we got the mayonnaise. A little bit of lemon if you want. We got that paprika. And we got these sticks. These are called skewers, no? Mm-hmm. What the fuck did we use them for? Oh, um, you and the garlic because you want to make my little flower, flower marshmallows. Oh, flower. Oh, yeah, we still need to do those. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to put them right here like this. And oh. It's going to break. It's not going to break, look. Can you do mine upside down? What do you mean upside down? Here, on the top. No, my man. I know you're trying to be a creative ass person, but no mames tampoco, así no va mami. Some things are just meant to be like, because then if we put them in there, there's not going to be. Oh, yeah. Um, como se levo, se va a caer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Y luego, what's the whole point? I know you like to be different and shit, pero. Te la mamaste también, no seas mamona. Then we're going to put the mayonnaise. You could put also, you could also put crema, sour cream. Some people like to put both, but this mayonnaise is good because it has a little twist of limon. That's always a fucking plus. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna add the queso, queso fresco. I don't have queso cotija, but it's all good in the hood because chingue su madre. I mean, for my kind of extra this. Extra mayonesa? Yes. Can this be puppies? You want this to be, you know what? What? I'm gonna make yours with this. You want a bunch of mayonnaise, huh, cabrona? Mm -hmm. Ahorita pues, ahorita te hago uno. Espérate, espérate. Tú nomás espérate. Te lo doy a tu papi. Is that spicy? So this is Mario. Si le voy a echar poquita de esta madre aquí. I'm gonna flip that hole. Y así. It's a perfect little snackity snack, snack, snack. Show yours, Sofia. Mine. Hers is bigger than your puppy's. No mames. Can I have? Some paparica? Yes. Sí, nomás poquita. Para el sabor. Can I have more? In the upside down? On the flip side. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, bitch. Ahí está. And the living side. Ya no mames, ahí está bien, pinche <laughs> pendeja. ¿Qué crees que soy tu pinche? <laughs> she said I'm her private bitch. I'm your private bitch, the fuck? You're my private bitch. <laughs> bitch, before I make my pico de gallo, because with, with uh, you can't have tacos de birria without, um, Pico de gallo. Look at these little ass motherfucking Roma tomatoes. Okay, so I have a girl, a lady that she rocks me, right? Her name is Fabiola. What was her name? Torres. Fabiola Torres and Marco Torres. Marcos Torres. And she's a motherfucking professor, bitch. You know, she sent me some money. Y luego her brother, he's like, you know what? I'll rock with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, you know, get through this. And like, they're a brother and a sister. And they're like really fucking smart and really fucking awesome and they like me, like little old me. So fuck you putos, whoever says, eh, I'm just a ghetto bitch. I was just a ghetto bitch, why do people like me, hmm? Hmm? Y Mario estás tra... Mario's standing right there, eating his damn elote, like a little guinea pig, like... Ni respiras, cabrón. You don't, do you even swallow? <laughs> <laughs> so these little ass, um, tomatoes. Why are they so fucking little? No wonder they were este, two pounds for 99 cents. Maybe that's because they're organic or some shit. Pero se pasan de verga, mira que chiquitos están. Parecen los huevos de Mario. <laughs> Un huevo 
One of his balls is always hiding. Remember, Mario, one, at one time I thought something happened to you? When I didn't even know that balls, like, I didn't even, I wasn't really experienced. And then I guess one ball got cold. And his ball was hiding in the back. And I was, like, scared. Like, oh, my God. Mario, you only have one ball. And then he explained to me how balls hide, right? Or is it cold? Is it when cold? Oh, yeah, yeah, when you're cold. So I guess he was cold. <laughs> so we're just going to throw that bitch in there. So for the pico de gallo, you could use, well, you use este onion, tomato, serranos, and limon. So as you guys know, I'm selling salsas. Yes, I am. You know, it's been a thing. We've never done shit like that. But it's kind of complicated because you have to go to the damn post office, the UPS office, and we got to make sure we get it to the prison. But Marius has been helping me a lot. He's been helping me sell my shirts too. How many shirts do I have, Gordo? Ay, he's gonna... Ay, ¿sabes cómo tienen su teléfono? Inventory. Ay, no mami. He's organizing it because I can't. So, we have Sofia La Tortilla, two large red. We have Bird Gang Gang, three blacks, one large black, two XLs. ¿Y qué más? Mira que chulada. We, I thought we ran out, but we didn't, huh? We have two medium whites and two XL whites. And once we sell, at least we only have like three left or whatever, we'll start getting the rest, huh, Mario? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, pinche Mario. Pero hace rato, cuando you were talking to your chorizo, Mauricio, in que le estabas, ay, wey, I'll suck your dick, wey. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna cut the onion Mario left I was talking too much shit but it's true like if you meet him the first time he'll be like super quiet but then uh, my hands are red because I was t testing um, checking on the meat to make sure it's going well pay no attention to the fucking train we live in the ghetto it is what it is bitch it's the but anyway, yeah, he's like really shy at the beginning. But then once he like once he likes you, he's all over your nuts. Not all over your nuts, but you guys know what I mean. There you go. And people usually fall in love with him. Not like in a weird way, but like they really fuck with him. I están los pinches gatos. We already fed them and they keep coming like feed us, feed us, feed us, feed us. They look at us and make us look bad. They make us feel bad because we already fed him. I mean, what if we want the food to last for a while? The bags, the big ass bags, it's like 40 pounds. They're like 13 bucks at Walmart. So we're gonna remix that bitch. And then we're gonna add some cilantro. Mira que chula. So I got five bundles of cilantro it was five or how much i don't remember now for 99 cents yeah yeah they had good deals today i love me some cilantro cilantro life if i could eat cilantro for the rest of my life i wouldn't mind i know some people separate the leaves but i use the whole thing it's just just math, it's just science, bitch. I'm adding more cilantro than anything. So yeah, I'm making the salsas. Um, I think I have three that people ordered. If you guys want to buy some, um, go to my email me at happymoment1122 at gmail.com. I know it's like, oh, really, bitch, email? But that's the only way right now until I get my shit set up. And just tell me what the fuck you guys want, like what kind of salsas you want. I'm stocked up with the fucking tomatoes and shit. I still have to meet up with Monica, the wife that I gave a shout out to her husband. Este, cause she said she was gonna meet me at the super, but you know, I didn't have any tomatoes. And even if I met her today, what the fuck was I gonna give her, you know? So hopefully soon we'll meet up. If you're watching this video, I'm sorry. No tenía tomates, wey. I'm gonna remix that bitch. What's the gang of cilantro? Okay, so now we're going to finish the pico de gallo. Add some limon. I wait. Just this. Just this. The smell of this is like, it makes my fucking pussy wet. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I love this shit. Also, when 
when I was little, I would always squeeze these motherfuckers. But since I couldn't sometimes, I would stand up on them. But we've always been like a skinny bitch my whole life. So, but you could tell. Anyway, these are juicy by the skin. If the skin is like thin and then you touch it and you feel it like this, it's the bitch that got juice for days. And then you use these fingers and this right here. And you squeeze that hole and you push it with your finger. Yeah. Ah, we we motherfuckers. You get the juice. You get what you paid for. Ooh, my mouth is watering. I love this. I love this, bitch. Mm-hmm. Then you go like this, remix that hole. And when you put that on the birria, the tacos, mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's hot. Those serranos were not fucking around. So, bitch, while we wait, I'm gonna take this to Mario for that ass. I'm gonna go sit with my familia right now. It's been like an hour and a half. I think at least like 30, 40 more minutes. So, I'll be back, motherfuckers. Mm. Ooh, 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 So, it's the next day, obviously. So, what had happened was um, we were watching a movie. It's actually our favorite movie of me and Mario when we got together. It's called Big Fish. And that movie's like so sad. It's so, it's so like you guys gotta watch that shit so we we're watching it and the meat was doing or cooking or whatever and then mario was like the meat and i was like oh shit it's kind of late but then i was like well, i could just finish it tomorrow and um we all ate tacos and then mario was like can i have more so we ate more tacos and they were so fucking good and i'm telling you this meat will last you in the fridge and um you can make tacos you could drink the consomme especially for this motherfucking rain you know what i'm saying it's been raining all day and we went to mandy's school to pick up um i guess a, a laptop because that's how they're gonna do school right now online but we just ran to the school and we got soaking wet and it's just chaos like a lot of chaos but bitch we have to keep calm up in this hole and we gotta keep it going because you know we just gotta keep pushing you know even if you're stuck at home get creative you know do something clean up whatever a little corner stay focused stay busy and talk to your family that's all i could say but anyways bitch this beer oh my god i will have dreams about it it is so fucking good i'm telling you, you gotta try this recipe and don't be scared to make um dishes like this i know people think oh i've never cooked that but you know what i'm saying we all start from somewhere anyway talking about that I want to give a little shout out because I got an email. So, Sonrisa Hernandez Scott, she sent me an email and I bitch, I wanted to cry. She said that she made my the recipe, the pozole, for people. She never, she usually just cooks for her husband and her kids and they love her. So they say, oh, it's good even if it's not. So she made food for like pe more people and she said that they loved it. They even came back for seconds. And she says that, you know, sometimes she watches YouTubers and she gets intimidated or she doesn't like to watch it because she doesn't really know as much as she thinks she should. She's like a beginner, but she rocked that shit and um, everybody loved it. And I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to cook. Um, we all start from somewhere. Cooking is like when people love your food, it's the best feeling in the motherfucking world. And that's what I want you motherfuckers to feel. Don't get intimidated. Don't think, oh, that's too much for me. Don't too many ingredients. Or it looks too hard. No. Once you get into it, bitch, trust me, you will love it. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys the meat um, cooked for three hours. Yes, it's a long time, but it's worth it. And, you know, you got to be keep checking it. I kept adding one cup of water, like, every 30 minutes and mixing it. And it's, don't be scared. The flavor's still gonna be there. If not, just taste it and get a, put a little salt if it needs it. Okay, okay. It is. It's still, um, I put it for a little bit longer to boil. And look, look at that. Look at that. Mira que chula. Like seriously, it's been there for so long and it's still good. And I added like, I'm thinking five cups of water. I think I'm gonna add more because I want it to be very, very, como se dice, watery. 
so I could eat with the consomme. Mario has me over here making more pico de gallo. That motherfucker loved it. He's like, I'm like, I eat it for breakfast. Du -du 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 -du. I'm like, I'm telling you it's so good, but you don't believe me. Like, I've expanded Mario's mind. He was always stuck in just eating meat or milanesa. This bitch right here is gold. I'm telling you. So, the pico de gallo that I made, I only put two serranos up in that hole, right? Woo! So I put like a little bit of pico de gallo on the tortilla because I love to get it like that. And bitch, let me tell you, it was so fucking hot, but I saw the pendeja, I came back and I got myself a little more. You know, like when you like something, but it hurts, but you go back to it. Mm -hmm, that's how it was. It was like, it was even my nose because I went like that. Even my nose was like, it's damn running and my eyes were all like, they were, so I don't even know how them chiles could be so damn hot. Serranos are not supposed to be that hot. But anyways, the other day I went to the Cucaracha and I was buying some serranos and I said, can I get $3 of serranos? And this man told me that they're not called serranos, that they're called Tampico. I'm telling you, Mexicans, we have like three, like three to five names for everything. It depends where you're from, from Mexico. Like, like everybody talks so different and people think, oh, you're just a fucking Mexican. But I was talking to a steak. Oh, yeah. So one of my salsas, um, Marilyn Sanchez, um, her fucking salsa broke. She received it broken. And it, saw, it sucked so much because she sent me pictures. And my heart was broken because you guys don't know. You guys don't understand. I I put my work into that bitch, into the salsas. And um, Mario is always like, make sure you package them or whatever. And... um. She, she sent me a picture that it was broken with the woo woo. And bitch, I was like, you know what? I'm going to call this lady. So I called her. I want, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So I called her and I said, what happened? And she's like, oh, tú sabes lo que pasó fue que la, la, había una bolsa, una caja afuera que mi papá me dijo. Like she had a, a Cuban accent. She's Cubana. And I was dying because you guys don't understand. I love Cubans. I love their accent. I even have like a little, um, like a thing that I do when I'm being funny. Chica, ya tú sabes que conmigo no se juega. Tú sabes, te enteraste de mí. Like, I get all into it with Mandy. Like with my little accent. Because, I don't know, I've always had like a, like a thing for Cubans and their culture. It's so rich or whatever and beautiful but anyways so she emailed me that her thing was broken but bitch let me tell you something i like really tried my best for them to package that bitch so she told me to to go to the post office and you know say something whatever happened so they could give me my money back because it did have insurance and um once I get the money, she said, it, and then I could send her the salsa back. But I feel so bad because I just want people to get their salsa and be happy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. That's my first time. I don't even know how many salsas I've sent out. That's the very first time, but I guess there's a first time for everything. I just want you guys to know that if some shit happens, I'm going to, you know, try to fix it. I just love her, though. She's so fucking, I don't know. I love her. And I can't believe, like, a person like that, like, the way she talks and she's so cool, even likes me. I'm just like, what the fuck? I like you, too. But anyways, I'm going to add a little, little bit more cilantro, and then we're going to make the tacos, bitch. Good thing about the rain, though, the limones are extra juicy, like that pussy. You know what I'm saying? So if I have a cut in this hand, hopefully it doesn't burn. Oh, I love these lemons. I'm telling you, bitch, they're the best in the motherfucking West. And if you don't agree, fight me, bitch. Fight me. All those people receiving their salsa and their limones. Send me pictures, bitch. I want to see. I want to show off. I'm going to be like, yes. That limon was here in California. And now it's over there in fucking Texas and whatever. In Miami. Can you guys believe little old me is sending out shit like that? That's a big deal to me. You guys don't even understand. I'm so like, shook it. So, tumbled. I don't know how the fuck to say it. A little bit of salt. Here we go, yo. Yo to the yo to the yo, yo, yo. I'm also going to grate some cheese. 
because the taco that I've been craving is taco de birria doradito, like a wet, like crunchy but wet at the same time with some cheese. I don't know. I don't really, really know. All I know is that if I crave something, I'm gonna do it. Bitch, if I'm gonna die, at least I'm gonna die eating what the fuck I want. Um, just know that this life of mine was beautiful and I appreciate everything, all the love that I've received from you motherfuckers, but I don't think I'm gonna die. We're gonna get through this bitch like we get through everything else because we some badass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And um, I heard some actor, another actor got um, the coronavirus. Hmm. He has a funny name. That's why I don't remember it. But he's chilling. He made like a little video on Instagram. I think it was his daughter in the back. Pretty sure it was his daughter. So here we go, yo. Oh, como me duele. Como me duele. Como me duele que me saquen a... No, que te saquen a vela. Que te saquen a vela. Valentina Lizalde. Fucking random ass things that come in my head, bitch. I'm gonna heat up the tortillas. I wanted to get the little ones, but there wasn't any. But fuck it, we gotta do what we gotta do. Work with what we got. Uh -huh. The meat. Look, look how soft that bitch is. I don't even have to. I did it with my hands earlier. But you know, I'm trying to be like a clean bitch here. So I'm not gonna use my hands. I mean. I will forever use my hands to do stuff. That's my thing. No le estoy dando chingadazos a Marito. What's going on? Andale. What happened, papi? Put the meat in the middle. Like so. And the cheese. Because, oh no. First, I'm going to put some of the consomme. Very importante. So it could be juicy. And then I'm going to add the queso that much not too much you know because i just still want to taste the meat oh my goodness oh my goodness mira que chulada wey uh, i said it wrong i said it wrong i said it wrong mira que chula. okay and then put that some of that red stuff on top oh yeah oh yeah do you see that? Do you see that? That's what the fuck I've been dreaming about. Oh my god, bitch. Oh my god. Give me your heart. Your heart is mine. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Okay, puppy. I love you. <gasps> Look at that heart the baby Mario gave me. <gasps> wow. So that's what it looks like. That one's just mine. I'm going to make all of them right now. But I wanted to finish up this video so I could upload it before it's night again. You know what I'm saying? Dios mío. Dios mío. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, 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 ah. Go, yo. Yo to the yo. To the yo, yo, yo. The consomme is so fucking good, too. You know what I mean? It's like falling, but it's all good. It's fucking going in my mouth anyway. It's a good as fuck. Mmm. Bitch. Mm. I don't even have words, bruh, 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 bruh. See, I can't even talk. You motherfuckers gotta try this. Mm. I use Monterey Jack cheese. Let me see lunch for my please. Cheers, bitch. Fucking amazing balls. Fuck yeah. Fuck to the Before yeah. I leave or I'm done, I want to show you guys the consomme. A big reason why I love birria is for the consomme. I like to put a little pico de gallo on that ass. And then you drink it. First, you have to remix it. Sorry. Mmm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Just for the consomme. This is my sister's bowl. Last time when I made a video, she commented, That's my bowl, Mamona. I love you, sister.
Julia Pascual, Narciso. I would think in my hair like I always do. Mm. I'm gonna chill in those hot ones. Anyways, motherfuckers, I hope you like this video. Um, I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Fuck these bitches and fuck these hoes. To all my bird gang, 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 motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love.